okay the okay the last thing that i will do is how can we save the the latest information or the things which i change into my ape.config file so let me close this one and uh, this is an and parameters first if i click on this close i want to close it so this dot close that is the easiest one i did and now when i click on this save i want to save the information from these text boxes into or the combo boxes into let me write this one press in my config file so that next time I will load this is the default values that it is showing us so I don't want them if I change them the optimal values I want to save them into my config file so how can we do that? in the helper class I added another method here for reading the values did I so here if you look uh, I write a method to read the values we need to provide the key and then it will return its value so when we provide these key values it will read the sorry the keys then it will read the uh, values for us in this function so and just it is loading the configuration file uh, which is currently being used by the application and then it reads the value that we want and it just returns it and it is the right configuration file is the opposite of it so we will provide a key and a value it will again open the same configuration file and then it will write that configuration into the configuration file and then refresh it so uh, here into this configuration file we need to provide both the key as well as the value and then this function will handle writing into our configuration file so i will be using this write configuration here and in this method we can call it like helper class dot write configuration parameters and these configuration parameters are very important and then we will be passing the values combo box activation function dot selected index dot to string whatever the value that has been selected we will write it uh, i will copy the parameters from the configuration file in a moment and similarly we can do it for the train method combo box train method and a selected index and for the momentum we are reading from the text box so text box momentum dot text and i need it for root mean square layer size that's it this is for momentum and then next is text box root mean squared error and the text box layer size dot text and maybe i should also add some label on top here and we can write its name as lvl message okay and when default we don't need to show anything once we write these values we can say label message dot text is equal to configuration information saved and maybe message dot for color is equal to color dot green for example in green color we can show it so the names of these parameters should be exactly the same as written in our file so for the activation function we use this key so this is the activation function for the train method we use the train so i'm just copying and paste to minimize the error and for the momentum we need to paste the momentum and oh i forgot for the iterations i need to add for iterations as well so this is for root mean squared error this is the layer size and lastly copy paste for the number of iterations that we want and the text box iterations.txt okay so this once we click here it will save into our 
configuration file so next time when I load it it will come with the new information so lastly I will test once again and see the results if it is working or not we load the data we sorry it will not split and did I do it okay test train split train model so now here you can see these are the default values and I'm going to change it for example I introduced 50 and one more layer with 10 neurons and a number of iterations let's say I did it 500 and the root mean square I reduced it a little bit more and let's say my momentum is 20 and the best option that was prop and let's say I save it so the configuration information has been saved and I run it model is trained okay and let's see what it says so this is the uh, result that I have received with the uh, with the current settings and if I want to train again you will see that the this is not the default value these are the values which have changed uh, and I have written them save them in my configuration file so this is how we can save the network parameters in config.file and uh, later use it for the testing purposes and that's it for this uh, video series and uh, hope to see you in another video